Hey, it's Jeff with Sunnyland Patio. Today I'd like to show you how to install single wrap straps on your patio furniture. Uh, so welcome to the workshop. Let's get started. For our strap project today, uh, we'll need a couple tools there. First your drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, just a piece of wood, anything you can drill on top of uh, just to save your your workbench or anything. Uh, the replacement vinyl strapping, uh, buy it by the roll usually. And uh, you can also buy it by the pre-cut straps, makes it a little easier. And then uh, rivets, you know, depending on which size you may need for your hole in your chair, you know, we have a various rivets available. Um, a cloth measuring tape in order to get your measurements for your straps. Um, these are uh, tin snips. We'll use these to cut the vinyls uh, into uh, the straps needed. Uh, and then a uh, cotton pair of gloves, keep your hands protected from the hot straps. They'll need to be heated these up to stretch them on. Uh, and then we have hot water. These tongs will be used to get these straps out of the hot water. You can, uh, you can use various different things, even a long screwdriver. Just something to be careful that you're not putting your hand in boiling water is the idea. And then of course the hot water. We'll need to have boiling water to complete the project. So we have our little setup here with a propane tank to a turkey fryer, you know, and then a big pot on here where we're getting our boiling water going. Uh, it doesn't have to be this setup. You could easily have a double burner with a turkey pot on it or something, uh, or even just boiling water from the stove. Uh, it tends to work better if you're closer to where you're working on the project itself, though, is the important thing. So you're not running across the house with straps. In today's project, we need the hot water because we're gonna boil the straps for a few minutes. By cutting the straps shorter than the actual measurement that we get off of the frame, uh, we're gonna put them in the hot water. It's gonna make it more pliable and uh, we have to stretch them onto the frame so once they're cool, they're nice and tight on your furniture. So let's start first by uh, removing the old straps from the frame. I'm gonna do this a little different. I'm gonna put it up on its back here so you can see a little better what's going on underneath. These rivets are pretty dried out, so they're going to peel out of there pretty easily. Sometimes you may have to use a pair of pliers uh, or a little screwdriver. You can punch the hole, make sure the hole is clean and nothing's going to be in your way. All right, these chairs, of course, already have the holes now, but if for some reason your chair, you were adding a strap or didn't have holes, this would be the time to drill them. You know, you would just do it onto the inside of that, you know, and just simply drill into it. The bare frame or the hole, if perhaps if you were trying to widen the hole to put a different size rivet in there. Um, so after we've got our holes in place, um, we're just going to take the tape measure and we're going to wrap this around here. Okay, the same place that you saw the old strap was lying before. So we're just going to wrap it around and come to the other end. So you see, I'm starting at the hole, wrapping around to the hole, coming up with a measurement of 24 inches. So we're gonna take that 24 inch measurement and reduce it by 10%. So we're gonna take approximately two and a half inches off of our 24 inch measurement, which will leave us with a 21 and a half inch cut size. And remember, we're reducing this measurement so that when we put it in the hot water, it becomes pliable and we're gonna stretch it onto the frame. That way the straps will be tight like these. If we were to cut the strap to the exact size as the hole, it would just be sitting here flapping in the wind. Not a good idea. We decided we needed a strap that was 21 and a half inches. So we're just gonna simply unroll that vinyl, come up to a 21 and a half inch measurement here. And then I'm gonna use the tin snips and cut it straight across. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll just trim off the excess along the edges there, get those out of the way. It just makes it so that the strap, when we curl this around, that those, those corners aren't showing or jutting out from the sides. Doing the same thing on this side here. And then what I'll do is I'll set these two together put them up top on the wood block that we set up here. And I want to be at least a quarter inch away from the edge of the strap here. So I'm going to set my drill just about a quarter inch away from that. And I double up so that I can do them both at the same time just to save a little bit. And so then I'm just going to drill, give myself a clean hole. You can go through from the other side if you want to. Be careful not to drill into your hand. Never a good idea. All right. And then we're going to install our rivets. 
All right, so our straps have been heating about three or four minutes now into that boiling water. So uh, it's time to take, we're gonna take two out. You know, you probably start out with just taking one out at a time uh, until you're more comfortable. All right, so I'm using the tongs and I have my cotton gloves on at this point. Pulling that out of the water, shake it a little, get rid of, the, rid of that excess water. I don't need that splashing on us later on. All right. So I have our straps out of the water here and I've already put the rivets in because I know it's a 730 seconds rivet that's the size of the hole that I'm using here. And so I'm going to do this upside down for one strap so you can see what I'm doing and then I'll put the chair right side up so you can see it that way too. But first strap here we're just going to push it around the frame again just like the others are lying. Push that into the hole and then I'm going to come around here and just pull the strap, put my thumb on it and then simply I have to find the hole and plug it in. So I've plugged in the strap and now I can release. Do a little straightening up. Now I've, that was a little awkward because I'm trying to let the camera angle show you but if I do it from the top angle here you'll be able to see that it's a little more easy and more stable. Again just gonna put that around the frame, plug in the rivet to the hole and then simply pull across the chair, giving myself a little extra room. I'm going to hold it with the other hand and then use this hand to go put that plug that rivet back into the hole. And folks, that's it. It's that easy if you know what you're doing. The chair's all finished up. We were able to complete those single wrap straps pretty easily. And remember, if you ever wanted to add a strap, say like at the end of this frame, you can see there's a gap here. If someone wanted to add a strap, you would drill your hole in the inside on you know both sides of the chair, and then just do the process just like we did. It's that simple. Catch you later. Mm -hmm.